ladies and gentlemen, bringing special greetings to the bride and groom and everyone gathered, we have. I spoke to Dr. Munilal. I spoke to Kunulal. Kunulal, Munilal, Munilal, Kunulal, whatever. <laughs> I thank you. Wesley, Darren, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I would start the clock, but no comedian fool is going to tell me when to, when to start and uh, when to stop the clock. Now, my dear friends, Wesley, I said that this night would not be political, but I have to give special mention to a couple of my adversaries, I mean friends, former friends gathered here. I'd like to start first and foremost by having everyone bid special welcome to Mr. Winston Gypsy Peters. The Minister of Community Development. Thank you very much. That's right. Gypsy, you know I was coming. That's why you run. But watch, watch me. Watch me. You can run, but you cannot hide. Files, watch me. Son, files go boss. But not tonight. Not tonight. Moving right along, my dear friends, I'd also like to pay, 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 especially, well, you know, I am my pocket fat, you know, my wallet big. So I'd like to pay special welcome. I'd like you all to join me in welcoming the Minister of Arts and Multiculturalism, Mr. Lincoln Douglas. Stand up and be counted, sir. And thank you. And say good night to everyone. All right. Sit down. Thank you. You really look like him. Eh? Yes. Don't worry, Pamela Nicholson. I forget you. Right now, I see people. Itching in their seats. They don't want to get up and run in the washroom and, and check in the mirror and see who they look like. But I'll bust the files. I'll bust the files. Listen to me. My dear friends, we are gathered here at this auspicious, auspicious, that's a big word, write it down. At this auspicious occasion. Now, while I continue, I'm going to ask my dear friend behind the bar, the superb, I need a top up on my imperial. Because I drank wine with sheiks and kings and presidents. And it is my distinct honor to finally drink with an emperor and his empress. I thank you, son. I just have a couple words of advice for the newlyweds. The first piece of advice that I have to give you, Renan and Felicia, is don't take advice from anybody. At the end of the day, last time I checked, Renel is married to who? Louder. Song like we in a cottage meeting. Renel is married to who? And Felicia is married to who? I thank you. So Renel, when you want advice on your marriage, who do you talk to? 
Felicia, when you want advice on your marriage, who do you talk to? Well done. That's the first piece of advice. The second piece of advice comes, my dear friends, in the form of a story. There was a woman, very devout Christian. I have to be careful when I'm quoting religions now. <clears throat> because you're either Christian, Muslim, Hindu, rainbow, or something like that. Now, moving on smartly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This woman was a de very religious and spiritual person. And every time she knows she was coming close to her demise, demise, that's a big word, son. Write it down. Talking about son, how's your father, Keith? I see you sit down right next to Mariano Brogan. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. So this woman, she went to the priest and he said, they're talking last rites. He said, what do you want? She said, I want. Just put me in the coffin and put a fork in my hand. F-O-R-K. There are children here. Watch yourselves. The priest asked her, why you want this fork in your hand? She said, because every time I go to a dinner, I go somewhere and they serve the main course, they serve the orders and then the main course. When they're clearing up the tables and I've given up all my utensils, they give me back the fork and say, hold on, the best is yet to come. So, I know when I die and you put that fork in my hand, I know that the best is yet to come for me. I'm a devout person. But I say to you tonight, my dear friends, Riddell, Felicia, you each now have a fork in your hands as of today. Because, my dear friends, raise your glasses and tell Riddell and Felicia that the best is yet to come. I thank you, my dear friends. Thank you. Thank you. But hold on. Hold on. I said I wasn't going to get political tonight. But I have a song that I want to share with everybody. Everybody only asking me questions. What is going on with you now? What have you done? What do you plan to do? Everybody in Trinidad wants to know After an election, what a politician is do To make money, to mind their family They keep asking me So let me tell them, tell them, tell them Ask your mother I thank you, good night ladies and gentlemen, cheers to the bride and the groom. Thank you. DJ, outro, outro.